Next question. Yes. What is the most you've made on either a narrative or commercial shoot? Narrative, commercial, or corporate? Like as a, as mm -hmm. director of photography, sorry. What's the most you've made like on a day or on an entire project? So I haven't done many commercials, pretty much none. Oh yeah, we'll be talking about that. I've, so yeah, so yeah, I've yeah, done yeah. four, but it was on a shoot. So I have done the uh, digital campaign for- You mentioned that last time, yeah. I think, yeah, 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 yeah. And they needed a separate crew doing, I think their Instagram and things like that. But we were on APA uh, kind of rates and- Okay, yeah. Um, By the way, disclose what you're allowed to disclose. Sure, I'm thinking yeah, about yeah. that. But I remember signing an NDA and that was yeah. uh, valid for three years. And that happened more than three years ago. Mm. But in any case, this is just APA. Yeah. It was at the time. Okay. So you would get, five at the, at the time, 500 per day for your equipment. So if you're okay. bringing kit, and it's kind of like a close figure, I think it can go up, but it mm. was a bit of a standard. If it's one piece or 10 lens or whatever, yeah, it's yeah. 500 on top of your fee. And then the fee... I, uh, I don't remember exactly, but it was something around uh, 800 per day. Per yeah. day, yeah, cool. So it's uh, something like 1,200 or uh, 1,300 per day. And and wow. I couldn't believe it. I still can now because <laughs> it's just so far from narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. definitely on indie. Um, and how many how many days were you on that project? It's five days, I think. Fair. Yeah. They took yeah ninety days to pay because I was a sole trader. Uh, so yeah. yeah, but still, it was the biggest. When he came in, I was like, you know, <laughs> you know, I didn't know how to. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is which is crazy to think because I think a lot of uh, DPs nowadays and a lot of people interested in cinematography, they, uh, I have a hard time understanding why someone would want to be a DP and not shoot films because for me it's almost like hey, an yeah. obvious thing. You want to make films, that's why you're a DP. You yeah. want to make films, that's why you're a director. You yeah. want to make films, that's why you're an actor. Yeah, yeah. And there are so many actors, directors, DPs, and the rest of you know people working on commercials, of course, because it pays really well. And and you and you have to be really good. It's not like you know it's an easy way. Quite the opposite. I've been over the last few years trying to open myself to to join that world. Yeah, it's a closed world. At least it's closed for me because of course I focus on something else. All I hear on podcasts and talking to people that work on their world is that they want to jump to my world. Not necessarily the indie one, Interesting. but that's what everybody yeah, says. Yeah. Oh, I hope to one day do. And then from the beginning, I thought I'm not even going to do that. I'm yeah, going to yeah. go straight to this, you know, also because I've been to a f those few sets and also sometimes in different capacities to other commercial sets. And when you, when you see it, it's usually the client, the yeah, problem, yeah. which, you know, bless them with all the funding that they have and all that. But the one, I remember being on one specific commercial on a big, uh, sports uh, company here in the again, I'm not going to say the name. And they had this massive commercial that cost them 800,000 uh, pounds. They shot for uh, a commercial. A commercial, yeah, for four days, what? I think. Yeah. 800,000 pounds. And then they had this island in the middle of this massive uh, studio yeah. with uh, a waiter serving champagne and sushi. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, five, six uh, clients there. And then I asked, but who, what's, what's happening there? No, no, those are the clients. And I think that's not just unnecessary, that's offensive, you know. Uh, to everyone else who's whatever doing super hard job yeah, and eating yeah. sandwiches and not that we it, it's just like completely it felt like you know the emperor is in the room yeah, and yeah, yeah. and i'm just against that so uh in the film world i don't think that's common you know i mean i wouldn't know enough but i i doubt it not um, like that yeah yeah at least it wouldn't be in front of you i'm yeah, sure that yeah, someone's yeah, yeah, trailer yeah, you're yeah, gonna have that exactly yeah, yeah. all day long yeah, yeah. Which, which someone could say, yeah, but then in the film, yeah, you have the trailers and yeah, you have, yeah. you know, the neuro in his trailer, whatever's being yeah, served, yeah. Uh, oysters. And, yeah. uh, I mean, was it what, Video Village, where like the director is like, same with the... Uh, True, but yeah. it's usually just, you know, a few coffees. It's just that, again, I was there watching that and then seeing the same discussion about, no, that wall is not yellow enough. Yeah, yeah. Let's stop everything. And then they stop everyone. And that's, everyone is like 60 people yeah, yeah. to paint on a different tone of yellow. And then they don't like it. No, let's call the day. Let's come back yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And I find the whole thing like, but wait a minute, you know, like if, if you're burning money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it is a very different environment. That being said, if uh, you can be creative, I think, you know, as a cinematographer, great space to test new kit. Um, test new techniques because yeah. usually commercials they're always uh, copying stuff and and using stuff from music videos exactly, and yeah, yeah. even the art world yeah. a lot of times so there's a lot of very amazing experimentation being done yeah. in a commercial set that you wouldn't be able to do on a narrative makes sense yeah but I'm not sure if that's reason enough to kind of like dedicate yourself oh well, yeah but I mean it's reason enough to try at least it's sure. reason that, I mean sure. but I mean to try you have to get the opportunity so how do these two jobs come into your 
it was always a recommendation from other people okay yeah yeah that have worked with me on on narrative and then it's like they suggested my name um yeah i kind of uh i i don't want to say that i that I had fun doing that, but also it wasn't bad. It but was, why not? <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's just, I, I feel very, somehow, when you're there uh, shooting, it's, I, I find it, I have a hard time finding a reason why we're going to, uh, telling a story around, you know, whatever, a lampshade or something, you're selling a toothbrush. Oh, okay, okay, and, okay. And okay. Then you have to really like, no, but this toothbrush, this and that. Yeah, yeah. I have a hard time connecting because I have such a devotion to film and yeah, to storytelling. Yeah. Like, you know, if we're telling a story, hopefully the story will uh, change the moment. Yesterday I went to see a film called Armageddon Time in cinema, right? Okay. I had zero expectation. I didn't even know it was directed by James Gray and I went blindly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, star uh, star power, I had to say, because I saw Anthony Hopkins on the poster. Uh, and I yeah. said, okay, I'm just going to watch this. Um, was expecting nothing, right? Yeah. I left it. I, well, I was going to watch other something else after. I, and I had to leave the cinema and I, and I just walked for an hour. I didn't know what to do with myself because the film really caused an impact on me. And I thought, this is why I do what I do. Yeah, and this yeah. is why I want to do this. Yeah, you know? yeah. Shooting a toothbrush. I don't know how that would ever happen. So <laughs> true, true, I'm yeah. I, I understand that, you know, it's like, oh, but we can't all just be shooting Anthony Hopkins in a transcendental film. Yeah. Maybe, but I think we should be aiming. Not we. I mean, let me yeah, speak let, personally. You're talking about you, yeah, yeah. I, you know, yeah. This is, I'm, I'm asking you. So, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's yeah. what motivates that's, me. That's sure. it, yeah. yeah. To, to eventually be, a, be access those opportunities, be yeah. able to. And I think that's because we all we're always building you know, a path. Yeah. So if I spend my life doing commercials, I mean, we can all quote Ridley Scott shot 2000 commercials and then he shot those amazing films yeah. and, you know, it changed our lives. Yeah, yeah. Um, and even the commercials he shot changed our lives. I mean, yeah. the commercial, I think until today is the most important commercial in history is the Apple commercial that he directed that oh, okay. revolutionized the industry, blah, blah, blah. Because he was always a storyteller yeah. in, in the first place. Um, but I think we build... Uh, Especially in this career, if people are gonna try to see what you have done yeah. and how do you work and what's your ethos and you know, are you gonna, what are you gonna bring to the table? Mm. If if of course, like if my background is much stronger in commercials, maybe it might suit for a certain kind of narrative films. I just don't think that they necessarily translate all the time. I think people very easily say that. I'm yeah, not sure if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I'm very curious to see. The next commercial you make <laughs> yeah i mean because i mean i feel like you've got such a a passion for film for narrative that i wonder what commercial pitch would get you excited considering what you just said sure yeah yeah it's it's i guess you're right it's yeah, about yeah. finding finding the yeah no, i mean because I, mean, I mean with that i mean i love um my, i don't really follow uh, american football much but i love the super bowl mm -hmm. because of the ads yeah the ads are sensational man mm -hmm. like, every year they just they knock out of the park so um true i do think there is maybe room latitude for great narrative uh, stories in commercials. You you just mentioned mm -hmm. uh, Ridley Scott's Apple commercial. But I mean, overall, if you if you want to make good, strong narrative um, pieces, you're probably not going to gravitate to like commercials every single time. I mean, indie films, mm -hmm. feature films, even short films that probably has more room for like just exploring a narrative because that's the whole point. Whereas commercials, sure. ideally the point is to sell a product, right? Yeah. So narrative is usually point. a second. Yeah, that's the whole, yeah. that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, that's why it's being made.